Hey, this is Luis Medrano with another video summary for you from the Raw Palooza 2012 Raw Food World Summit. And today I'm going to bring you the key points from the interview with Marcus Patrick. Um, a little bit about Marcus Patrick, if you don't know who he is. He's an actor, musician, and a fitness professional. Um, you've probably seen him in a couple movies or TV. Um, Google him and you'll see pictures of him. And most likely will look familiar to you if you haven't seen him by now, then um, you probably will in the, in the near future. But Marcus Patrick's mission and what he does in spreading, he spreads the, 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 the message of raw foods and raw food diet. And his thing is, uh, he, he, he wants to show how a fit and muscular person um, can sustain himself on raw foods and raw plant-based nutrition. And he is a living example of this. I mean, him among many others of the, the fact that you can be muscular, be strong, and be fit on raw vegan foods. Okay, so there's four things that really stood out from this interview, and I'm going to go over them now. Um, first of all, I kind of touched on it already in the introduction, and that's that even a fit and muscular person can improve their health with foods that what Marcus calls life force foods so just because someone's fit and healthy and on the outside and they look muscular and they look fit and robust you don't know what's going on on the inside so uh, Marcus tells a little about his a little bit about his story on how um, I mean, he was already a good-looking guy fit six-pack abs and cut and everything and yet when he turn to raw foods and whole foods he felt his health improve dramatically uh, this is coming from a guy who was already fit and muscular and pretty healthy but he found that um, that making the change to raw whole foods completely changed his, his health for the better and this just, just goes to show that even fit and healthy healthy muscular people can improve their health big time with raw foods um, second point fear versus integrity um, basically Marcus went a little bit over what the difference is between fear and integrity and how the topic of raw foods and healthier living fits into this whole picture and basically um, he talked about fear is conforming to non-truth so basically you think what you you think you're doing what you're supposed to be doing but it's not really true to your being like you feel that it's not true and you know that there's something more to it versus integrity integrity is being true to the, what you believe in um, following your word knowing truth when it hits you in the face when it's right there in front of your face and um, integrity takes courage you will face opposition when you're following your your heart and your your and you're doing what you love and you're living um, with integrity so when it comes to, to raw foods and healthy eating it it's a matter of you truth is exposed to you and you know it just you feel it in you and you know it makes sense we all know fruits and vegetables are good for you yet we live people live with this fear of like well what if I don't get enough for what I need from from fruits and vegetables and there's that there's just that feeling of emptiness you could say that comes from being fearful whereas integrity you know what's true and you know what's good for you and you follow that path it's it, it is it is tough you will find challenges you will face opposition um, obstacles and all that it takes courage and and you know the power which you have in you to to live the life of integrity so you can do that um, the other third point was food consciousness and the connection with the sun. Um, he went in deep into the, the consciousness of food and how when we eat whole plant foods in the raw form, we are literally taking in energy from the sun. Because, I mean, the sun is the one star in our solar system which provides life on this planet, which makes the plants grow, which are the plants that we consume for health, for vitamins, for nutrients, and all that. So. In essence, you're taking in that mass consciousness of the sun and that energy that is released from the sun to the earth in the form of plant foods. So you're taking that food in and you're absorbing that energy and that consciousness from the sun. Pretty interesting. 
Um, and lastly, the journey of love and truth is equally as important as the journey you are having with the food, with your health, with your health journey. It's not just all about food. You know, it's not just all about raw food. It's not just all about exercise. Uh, it's not just all about, you know, being spiritual, but it's a balance of all these things. And living a life of truth and love is as big of a part as being healthy as the food that you eat and the exercise that you do. So live, in, live, live with this love in you, live with this passion, um, incorporate these healthier foods into your life, a good exercise fitness routine. And it's all part of this whole holistic, uh, healthy lifestyle. It's not just one thing, it's a balance of these many factors. So that was key, uh, something to bring into your life to, to improve your health.